I want to share with you valuable advice that I would like to hear one year ago when I started my journey as a self-taught front-end developer. Number one, stop memorizing programming language and learn problem solving. But honestly, I thought being a programmer requires you to learn the syntax like an alphabet. But later I realized it's not about memorizing the code. You don't need to because you can use Google for it. What you need to know is how to solve a problem. What's the problem? Math problems. Oh, I can help you. Let me see. All right, um, here's the easy one. What's six times three? Six times three. I don't know. Six times three. I don't. If you know everything about the programming syntax and you don't know how to solve the problem or what to actually type in the Google to solve the problem, then you are in big trouble. And as I said, not learning how to solve problem was one of my biggest mistakes. And if I could go back in time, I would spend 50% on learning coding and another 50% on problem solving. I would use sites like Code Wars or Codeality and there is also a bunch of more. I will put the link below so you can check them out if you are interested. Learning more about the whole picture. What do I mean by that? When I started programming, I didn't really pay attention on anything else than writing code. The more code I wrote, I felt more as a developer. But I never actually took a time to learn the fundamentals about databases, servers, APIs, or about authentication and where is the best place to store data on a device and many more. I basically ignore it, but I never took a time to actually think how servers, databases, APIs work. I was too much focused on coding and basically building projects then learning any fundamentals about computing security and many more i understand this might come with experience but if i could go back in time i would learn the fundamentals i would spend two hours in a week to just go on youtube and learn for instance servers about apis how they work and, and i wouldn't learn how to implement them but i would just learn the fundamentals and later if i will be let's say working with login security uh, i will know a little bit about the topic find a proper company this is another thing that I've done completely wrong since the beginning. As a cell phone developer without any experience, I struggled to get my first job. And it's hard to get a company to hire you if you don't have any commercial experience or you don't have any university degree in a computer science. And I absolutely get it. It's nothing wrong about it. So I said to myself, I will accept any offer just for the sake of experience. And I was able to get it. And I moved out from the city where I lived to another city which was around 300 miles away. And I was completely happy, but soon I faced the reality. The company was small and there was only one experienced developer who actually left after two months I started. And there was almost nobody who I could learn from or get advice on old projects because they didn't have any documentation. And this is a big problem as a junior developer. You want a company where you can progress, you can ask questions and you can learn from experienced developers. I know you cannot have everything in the beginning. I was super glad that I got the first job, but I would do things a little bit different now. I would ask questions on the initial interview about the development team, how they work and how long are they in the company. If the answer is the oldest developer is the two years and the rest of them are junior developers who just started, that's a big red flag. Anyway, on to the next one. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe so I know that I should be doing more videos like this. Learn a very deep one programming language. I was learning JavaScript and React in the beginning and that was my aim to get a job in that field. But I accepted the offer where I could learn PHP, jQuery and Bootstrap. And during the eight months, I did not really improve my skills in React. My second job is in Angular and React Native. And I can honestly say that I can work with PHP, jQuery, React, or Angular, but I'm not an expert on any of them. So my advice is stick to one programming language or two if possible and get really good at it and become an expert in the program language. Have a hobby different than programming. My first of the year, I either came home and work on the work stuff because I felt behind or I was learning programming. And it was like that probably around eight months straight. I didn't see my friends and I didn't go to the gym and uh, it was a really tough time and I completely burned out. I was really overwhelmed and I noticed I became really unproductive, especially at work and 
Also, I didn't really enjoy any more program because I was just doing it all the time and it was just only all my waking hours. And I realized having a break and not to think about coding after work brought the enjoyment back and my productivity absolutely increased at work as well. It's absolutely different for everyone, but for me, I like to do something else. I like to focus on other YouTube channels and also spending time with my girlfriend or just going to the gym. Salary. I'm brutally honest with you, I was completely struggling my first eight months. It was literally enough for me to pay bills and pay food and that's all. And this is not about bragging or anything like that. And I just want to let you know that if you are in the same situation I was before, it is going to get better with your experience. And it is going to get much better if you just quit the job and find something else. Because that company will eventually pay you more and that's why so many developers just quit their job after first year or second year in the company. That's how actually I was able to double my salary. So don't give up and keep grinding, you will eventually get there. Anyway, that's all from me and I will see you in the next video. Peace.